How does this person feel about you? Hello, welcome to Silla V Tarot. I hope you're doing very well. Let's see what the vibes are. Let's see what's going on in love at this current time with you. If you would like, of course, subscribe if this resonates with you or you just like the vibe. And also follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you would like to as well. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on with love. How do they feel? So someone here is running, right? I'm running from something, not because I don't love you. I'm running from it because it's going to require change on my part here. Someone here is uh, definitely in this energy of being lost, okay? Um, I'm just getting this heavy energy of Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Libra. That could be something that's just heavy in their chart, okay? Or Sagittarius, but... I'm getting a vibe that someone here is really, really getting tired of running. I'm getting tired of running. I'm getting tired of um, finding reasons why I should run from love, right? This is this is your person's energy right now. Um, I feel like someone here felt great joy within this connection. Great, great joy, comfort, love, compatibility within the connection with you. Um, but I feel like this person started to get into their emotions. They started to look at their past. They started to um, really explore their insecurities. And I feel like someone here started to project a lot of their fears onto this connection. Okay, we do have running energy happening here, which means that someone ran. I gave up when things got hard. I was holding back. I started to come off as if I was careless with your heart. Or your emotions or your feelings or things like that for a lot of you you just feel like this person has been quiet this person has been quiet they haven't been saying much or what they should be saying they're not saying and again i'm getting this energy of i'm very very exhausted i'm very tired and for some of you this is you but i feel like this is your person i'm extremely fatigued and i'm tired of running away from love I'm tired of running away from myself more so, my truth and the things that I need to work on. I feel like this person's starting to realize that a lot of their issues is now bleeding into their family situations, bleeding into their work and bleeding into other departments in, uh, you know, in their life. And now understanding that it's not only relationships that this person runs away from, they run away from other significant things in their life. And now this person's starting to realize, well, it just wasn't Silavi Tarot's viewers or subscribers, it just wasn't that. It was it's more me right now we have this energy of a lot of my viewers um saying to themselves and i agree a lot of you are it's not that you're giving up on this person because you don't love this person a lot of you are saying say lovey like i am completely done with this person because the effort that this person is putting in is so minimal that the pain is not worth it so it's not that i don't love you anymore you're just not worth this type of pain. This type of pain where I can't even think straight, I can't even eat, I can't even date other people without thinking of fears, and I can't live like I used to live when I was, you know, carefree and in this energy of just wanting to live, all right? So a lot of you are starting to acknowledge that pain and that um, resistance that this person has created, or you have created, whatever, in my energy, and I'm ready to release that. Okay, and it's so interesting. I feel like as you're starting to release this person, this is when they're starting to have this epiphany. And that's typically how it happens, right? Once you start to release them and you're no longer into this running vibration or into this chasing vibration, that's when they get tired and they turn around and they're like, oh, that person's not running after me any longer. Uh, no, they're not. They're not. They're tired. They broke their leg eight miles ago. Okay their fatigue as well so i feel like a lot of you are just tired of running after this person or trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt like sprained ankles everywhere here okay let's see what else we have how is my viewers feeling how is my viewers feeling spirit yeah so a lot of you are a bit guarded towards this person you're cautious towards this person you're creating boundaries towards this person you're like yeah i'm all about that life new beginnings look at that told you there was a shift 
as this person's getting tired, you're shifting into this energy of a whole new beginning, a whole new direction. Things are changing. All right. If you look at the comparison here, it's like, you know, I'm 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 trying to connect with you, but you keep pushing me away here. And I feel like this is where the tension comes in here. OK, how is this person feeling about my viewers at this time? Let's get a vibe and see how they're feeling about you. Let's see. We could pull this one here. But look at this. Uh, congratulations for whoever's uh, resonating with this, right? I am enough. I am worth it. My time is worth it. My energy is worth it. I am good enough to know when it's time for me to stop trying to wait for someone or stop trying to get someone to understand my worth, you know? So I feel like you're just stepping into this new energy. For some of you, you know, and I'm not saying that you're not going to reconnect with this person. It's not what I'm saying at all because I'm more so focused on energies. What you do, that's fine. But in terms of energy, my energy is no longer going to be chasing anybody. Now, if you want to step into the energy where we're going to love and be consistent and enjoy this gift of life, we could do so. So a lot of you may reconnect with this person, right? It's not the purpose of this reading of trying to find out um, if we're going to reconnect or not. The purpose of this reading is starting to adjust our energies and adjust our energies for the, you know, for the better and for our greater good. That's the point, right? All we have is now. We don't have yesterday, we don't have tomorrow, we have now. And in the now, I'm creating boundaries with my heart, with my emotions, and I'm stepping into a new vibration where it's all about loving me and loving people that love themselves. Is it? All right, let's get more, please. There's still hope. You have lies. And we have awakening. Give me more, please. Yeah, this person's having a huge awakening. Tell me more of what my viewers could expect in terms of energy here. Yes, be very careful with this person's energy. Please, 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 please. Someone here does not want to commit. Okay, and I feel like that's a conversation that you are definitely going to have with this person here. This person that you call your soulmate, this person that you are ex-lover, this person that wants to be so close to you. There's someone here that wants to be so close to you, but at the same time, I feel like this person has to work on committing, all right, committing to themselves, committing towards opening up their heart, working on their heart chakras. And I feel like this is someone here that's acknowledging that they're having an awakening. Your awakening is happening currently. Future energy, I feel like this person's going to stop lying to themselves. OK, they don't have a choice here. OK, they felt like they were going to be able to just come back and give you an offer that was a bit cold and, um, you know, not grounded. But a lot of you are not going to accept that. And this person has a huge awakening, huge, huge. And I feel like this is someone here um, energetically that's going to start working on this energy of non-commitment. I'm going to learn how to commit to myself. In order to be in the soulmate connection, I have to work on this energy. I have to. Because a lot of my viewers here, the boundaries is crazy. The boundaries is something that I feel like you're working on. The boundaries is something that you've been honestly um, investing in. I'm investing in knowing when to stay away from people that are running from love. Staying away from energies that don't want to connect. So I feel like for a lot of you, there's someone here that doesn't want to let go of this, right? They don't want to let go of this. And what they don't understand, or someone here that does, you know, I feel like they don't understand, that the more you're guarded like this, and the more you're not wanting to commit to your daily routines and commit to yourself and commit to being receptive to spirit and receptive to love, it's painful, it becomes painful, it becomes lonely, right? And that's why a lot of you are in this place where you're saying, you're not worth this pain. And that's why I'm releasing you. I'm releasing you because through this soulmate connection, I'm learning that, I'm learning that this pain is not worth it. And if it means that I have to release you, that's what I'm going to do. 
And I feel like that's the true definition of loving someone. Loving someone enough to know that they're not treating themselves well. And in return, you're going to treat yourself well by releasing them and creating boundaries and creating new beginnings after being exhausted, after creating so much time and energy within this connection, after a while you wake up and you say, oh wait, this is not, this is not worth it. It's not worth it. My happiness should not be jeopardized in something so beautiful. Remember, it takes two, it takes two of us to be in a situation. I can't be in this situation by myself for a whole year. Come on. Let's get some messages from uh, this person. Okay, I know that we are still deeply connected. So for a lot of you here, this person's coming around. This person wants to reconnect with you here after having an awakening. However, it is up to you to distinguish what vibration they're on. Okay, for those that understand what a non-committal energy is, you'll identify that immediately. Connected or not, you're, you'll know. Hmm? Okay, let's get that see what else we have here thank you and we have i'm sorry i betrayed your trust a lot of apologies coming in huh i respect that i love that love an apology someone here wants to apologize to you they want to they want to apologize they want to say they're sorry for not loving themselves enough to love you i'll talk to you soon um and of course subscribe if this resonates with you Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and if you're interested in a personal reading about your person, everything is below. Have a good one. Thank you.